Next, I'm going to discuss about the try and method of this program. So if you debug the code, control comes to main function. Hereafter, that coincides. So I have taken four integer variable. First is n1. Next, enter. Here, x1. And x2. Here after control comes to this point, print your function. So whatever interval code that is printed to the output is given into first number slash t, then that leave eight character spits. And here after a scanner function. So whatever I'm going to enter, so that received by n1. So I'm going to enter n1 value 12 percent because n1 is integer. Here after control comes to this point, print your function, enter second number. So so that display into the output screen slash 10 slash t then uh, that print blank 8 character space. Hereafter a scanner function so that received by n2. So n2 value I'm going to enter 6 percent because n2 is the uh, integer type. Hereafter control comes to this point. So n1 value go to x1. n1 value 12. 12 go to x1. Hereafter n2 value go to x2. So n2 value 6. 6 go to x2. Hereafter control comes to this one while n2 not equal to 0. So n2 value is 6, 6 not equal to 0, condition is true that coincide. So add a one more variable b or w. So b or w not n1 and n2. So n1 value is so 12, n2 value is 6. So first I am going to do decimal to binary conversion. So for this, right, 12. So 12 by 6, so it divide by, or 12 by 12 by 2, the so value comes 6, and remainder comes 0. Here after 6 by 2, so it divide by 3 times, remainder comes 0. 3 by 2, the value come 1 and remainder come 0. And uh, do n2 value binary conversion. So at here, this is 6. So it divide by 3 times, remainder come 0. Here after, it divide by 1 times, remainder come 1. Here after, let's do and operation. So at a n1 value, or this is n1 value, and this is n2 value. So n1 value 1, 3 times 0. So first that do the operation of not bracket. So in bracket, not operator is there. So whatever is 0, that convert into 1, and 1 convert into 0. So this is 0 now. Add here this on one here after n2 value double one zero and let's do and operation so at your one and one the value come one and other case the value come zero so at your 1 0 the value come 0 1 1 the value come 1 1 1 the value come 1 here 0 0 the value come 0 and here this part has been done so b or w value double 1 0 double 1 0 and here after n1 equal to n1, ZOR operation n2. So this is the value of n1, and this is the value of n2. So let's do ZOR operation. So what the ZOR operation? The, if the value of 1, 1, the value comes 0. 1 ZOR, 1, the value comes 0, and 0, ZOR. 0, the value come 0, other case, the value come 1. So at 0 and 1, 0, the value come 1, 1, 1, the value come 0, 
one one the value come zero 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 the value come zero. So I have new n one value only one. Here after n two equal to b r w left shift one. So b r w is now or double one zero. So doing the left shift. So I have the it and one more zero. Now here after that go and check n two not equal to zero. So I have Oh, uh, this is the decimal number of this one. Two power zero, two power one, two power two, two power three. So two power two, the value come four. Two power three, the value come eight. Eight plus four, the value come twelve. So this value is twelve now. Here after check twelve not equal to zero. Condition is to that coincide. So again, B or W equal to negation n one and n two. So I have n one value only one, and so after doing negation, this convert into zero, and your yeah, n two value double one zero. Double one, double one zero. So if you give any zero, so it won't affect anything. So first two, let's do. And operation. So zero zero the value come zero, zero one the value come zero, zero one the value come zero. So I tell you, B R W is now this time zero. And here after n one equal to n one, zero operation n two. So n one value zero. So I tell doing the zero operation. So in the zero operation case, one one the value come zero, zero zero the value come zero. Other case the value come one. So zero zero the value come zero, and zero one the value come one, zero one the value come one. So I tell n one is now double one zero. Here after n two equal to b or w left shift one. So zero or uh, b or w value is zero now. So after doing left shift, so n two become double zero. So double zero that is zero. Here after that go up n two not equal to zero. So zero not equal to zero condition is not to not coincide. Here after control comes to this point. Print of all function. So what I mean double code that is print to the output screen. And here percent d this percent d is for x one. This percent d is for x two. And here. This percent is for n one. So the output come subtraction of two number. So first percent is for x one. So x one value is twelve and x two value six n one. So n one value double one zero. So I'm going to convert this or uh, binary into decimal. So the value is double one zero. Double one zero, so I tell this multiply. So this is the first position. So two power zero plus this multiply two power one plus into two power two. So I tell two power zero the value come zero here after two power one the value come two two into one the value come two. At your two power two, the value come four. Four into one, the value come four. Sorry, two power. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So two power two, the value come four. Four into one, the value come four. So four plus two, the value come six. So at your After converting uh, binary to decimal, so this value is now six. So at here n one value is six. 
So add here. Output display. Subtraction of two number twelve and six. After leaving eight character space, so so that print n one value. So n one value six. And here after that outflow may function. So this is the trend method of this program. So I hope guys you understand. If any doubt, so leave your comment. I will check. So next time you should try to enter n one value. Anything like go uh, thirty. And enter value like enter eight. And do the same trend method. So we'll get the expected output.